Hello and welcome to this Future Music Magazine modular monthly video on the WTF oscillator from Dove Audio. Let's check out what's to come in the video before we get into it. WTF stands for Window Transform Function. It's two wavetable oscillators, or one that shares the same pitch, but two different wavetables, and this window that we can open between them. And speaking to Paula from Dovardio earlier in its development, she explained this to me in a way that was like, imagine having a window with two shutters. There's a rear waveform behind the shutters and a front waveform in front. As you open the shutters, they part in the middle and the rear waveform comes through. Now imagine being able to modulate those shutters, like CV controlled shutters on your windows, and modulate the front and rear waves. And that gives us the WTF at its core. So let's explore it. There's a lot more to it than that in terms of being able to invert things, adding in DC voltages, dual windows. But it's a really basic, simple to use oscillator that gives us a ton of new and unique tones and a unique way of working with wavetables. The output is on the screen on data. And we've also got the great screen on the module itself. The red pattern on the screen is the front waveform, the blue is the rear waveform, and the white is the output waveform. I'll turn this on on my mixer and we'll simply start by just exploring the wavetables that are available. Now if I change say the rear wave table and I move the width control this will split in the middle opening up this window and bring that rear waveform into the output. We have the same wave tables on the rear. nicely smoothing morphing wavetables and that width as well. All three of those controls have CV inputs with attenuators, we have an FM input with attenuator, pitch control that can move in octaves or move smoothly, this is selected on the jumper at the back. The octaves are great because it makes it very jammable, playing riffs into nice delay lines and moving through the octaves. <laughs> It's something that I really enjoy doing, and a fide tune as well, fault per octave, all the usual things. So to start with, I'm going to just invert the same waveform and just show you what moving to that sounds like. And it's very much like a saw or a ramp wave, almost with PWM. Now leaving that rear wave inverted, one a ramp or upward facing saw or ramp and one a downward ramp. I'm going to flick in the dual window and rather than a central window that this moves and opens up then there'll be two windows as you can see there on the waveform. And what comes through is of course the rear wave, be it inverted or not. So there's tons 
loads of potential and there's one more switch that allows us to invert a DC voltage rather than a rear waveform. You can see that's just a flat, effectively zero volts. Give us a lovely PWM-like effect. Again, works on any wavetable. It can be single or dual window. Or we can even turn the rear waveform to noise. And this noise goes from Nintendo and Atari-like chip tune. Right up to white noise, modulatable. On that rear wave. So that's a quick look at the sounds and the features. Let's get into some patches. So here's a really nice thick moving bass tone by coupling the WTF oscillator with a low pass gate. Now the low pass gate is both being struck with a short trigger and also has a longer envelope modulating it. So it's kind of two layers of dynamic modulation. But to start with, I'll just fully open this low pass gate. And it's two waveforms and I'm just modulating the width to get this movement between them. There's a nice grissiness to it, this kind of digital edge. And then the kind of thick blow end as well. Now this is a dual window. Could just be a single window for quite a different tone. I've inverted the rear wave. Again, we could have that normal. Again, a very different tone. So even just performing live and switching in these changes without changing any actual waveforms, there's quite a bit of scope to get variations with on the patch that you've set up. Now closing down the low pass gate. Let's add a touch of reverb as well. With a nice percussive, thick and a low end sequence going on. So here at FM, we're big fans of random and sample and hold stepped random voltages. Now just to give this a little bit of musical context, here's a kick, playing quarter notes, and the output of the WTF is playing sixteenth notes. And killing the modulation. Simple pattern. Let's go down the octave for now. And we're using independent, different, random, unique sample and holds to the front wave, the rear wave, and the width. For two reasons. One, it makes for interesting animations of the sound. And two, it allows us to demo a range of the tones because it's fairly vast. We can't sit and listen to every possible position of these knobs and wave tables and width settings and switch settings in any given video or series of videos. But by modulating through them quite quickly, it allows us to get a good feel for the tone of the WTF. So let's modulate the front wave. Modulate the rear wave. We can obviously scale and just do these as we see fit. We can modulate the width. And any combination of attenuated random modulation works well. Cranking it up full. Lots of tones that kind of fly by. So just quickly in this patch we're going to explore the noise. Now the width is moved all the way over to the rear wave and the rear wave is noise instead of a wave or a DC voltage. I'm modulating the rear wave, I can turn down that modulation, and I'm using the same envelope to open and close a VCA. So, this is going to get noisy and loud, but I'll remove that modulation from the VCA. And there's that kind of Atari Nintendo chip tune, kind of old retro game explosion type sound the pitch of the noise or the clock rate of the noise increases. You can see we're getting more bits of information in the wave. 
up until pretty much white noise. Now adding that modulation back in, the great range of percussion sounds that we can get. So I'll put this envelope back into the VCA. Retro snare sounds. With some filtering, some nice white noise hi-hats. I'm going to take that out of the VCA again. I'm just playing with the rate of this looping envelope. I just really love that long tail. bit reduction on the noise. And of course this gets even more interesting when we have some width. And say even just a simple saw wave. Say a dual window. Let's get a cleaner wave. Something like that kind of folded triangle vibe. And moving these waves. from that noise. So in this patch we're going to explore audio rate modulation of the width control on the WTF. Now I've zoomed out so you can see the modulating oscillator, the AGH Minimod oscillator, great but simple analog oscillator. They're both tracking the same pitch, and if I open the width, we just have an inverted version of the same wave, an upward facing ramp on the rear, downward facing ramp on the front. So adding in some of this audio rate modulation. Super nasty gritty. Adds almost like a down sampled vibe. And the reason I've zoomed out is so you can see me shifting the octaves on the AGH oscillator. Also shift the octaves, keeping their relative tuning for WTF. Let's try a dual window. Let's try different waves. So square like on that side, upward ramp on that side. Tons of potential in audio rate modulating the WTF. This was raw, straight out of the oscillator. But into filters, VCAs, low pass gates, you're going to have a lot of potential shaping and tones at your fingertips with some audio rate modulation. Now, in this patch, we're exploring using the DC voltage option for the rear wave for PWM like effects and kind of richer chorus like tones. Now here I'm using the WTF just like any standard analog oscillator through a filter and through a VCA. I'll get rid of the animation. So it's first going through a filter which I'll open wide open. VCA, simple 16th note pulsing clock to an envelope opening the VCA. Now the filter is animated slightly differently and it doesn't play on every 16th note, the envelope opening the filter is playing a different gate rhythm. So a bit like the earlier patch of the low pass gate, we've got this two way layered animation between filter and VCA. They're playing off different gate rhythms and different envelopes. I've left a little kink in the wave there and I have an LFO coming into width. 
just this really lovely lush PWM over any of the waves. So I've also added an LFO to the front wave, it's moving quite slowly. We could try a dual window. And then I have another LFO to FM, which if I turn up full, sounds like this. And just a very kind of micro amount of that, just to get the pitch wavering. Just adds to this richness. Turn the filter down slightly. Bit of resonance. It's kind of this hybrid between a normal analog subtractive tone with all this kind of great, lovely digital wavetableness from the WTF. Relative to what the WTF can do, this has been a quick overview and look and demo at some of the sounds and its functions. It warrants a lot more exploration, it's great for drones, it's great for percussion synthesis. We've had a lot of fun with the WTF, and personally, I look forward to seeing more from Dove Audio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.